Welcome to episode 4 of 101 You Deer Builds. Today's wacky build is the Hand O You Deer. With just a single powerful swing he is able to delete whatever is standing in front of him. If you want in on this action, let me introduce you to the runes. Our goal is to hit as hard as possible in the shortest amount of time. That is why we bring Electrocute as our keystone rune. Udyr has an easy time triggering this rune because his phoenix attack counts as two damage instances. So stunning an enemy with bear stance and then slapping them with phoenix will instantly proc electrocute. On top of that we take cheap shot for some true damage on the stunned target. Eyeball collection for additional ability power. And relentless hunter because it helps catching our unfortunate prey. The secondary tree will consist of the sorcery runes nimbus cloak and water walking for greater roam, and gank efficiency. Our first item will be Blue Smite, with the Runic Echoes enchantment. Runic Echoes combined with the Phoenix area of effect gives us an insane jungle clear. And also solid early game burst. However, the real damage comes with the addition of Lich Bane. This item will trigger every time we use an ability, to then amplify our next basic attack by 50% of our ability power. With Udyr's excessive use of ability spamming and basic attacks, Lich Bane will buff our initial burst. But will also help with consistent damage and turret breaching, since the item only has 1.5 second cooldown. The final item of our core build is Spellbinder. With 120 ability power and 10% movement speed it gives us some much needed base stats. Spellbinder's passive also collects stacks whenever we use an ability, which is quite often when playing Udyr. At 100 stacks, or earlier, we can use it actively to gain up to 80 ability power and 50% movement speed. When activated, Spellbinder gives even more ability power than Rabadon's death cap, on top of giving bonus movement speed. Use it when catching an enemy to add the extra damage to our initial burst. The remaining space in your item slot should be reserved for magic penetration, or cooldown reduction. Whatever fits the current situation, or your playstyle, best. If you are looking for more damage and burst, get magic penetration. If you want to split push you can also pick up Nasher's Tooth. The Hando's playstyle is pretty straightforward. Your fast jungle clear allows you to obtain your damage quite early. Once you got your items the only problem is getting close to your enemies. To have an easier time catching enemies, finish your boots as soon as you got your jungle item. Also make sure to max the bear stance second. There is no need to put any points past the first into turtle stance since your shield scales with your ability power anyway. Always have your smite up when going for a gank or a kill so you can use Nimbus Cloak to get your hands on the enemy. Catching the enemy is the difficult part. But once you got them, the Hando will delete them like this. Or this. Or that. What are you waiting for? There are wannabe carries and mages out there, waiting for their dreams to be smashed. I'm counting on you to make sure that happens. May the Hando be with you, and you're deleting ever successful.
いつもよ不思議に思うんだぜ俺のこのザ・ハンドで削り取ったものは一体どこへ行っちまうんだろうってなま俺頭悪いから深く考えると頭痛起きるけどよこれなんだって